So today in this video, I will discuss about server side development with PHP that is according to the module third. So first of all, what is the meaning of the server side development? If you are thinking for the server side development, main things uh, you can consider like a server where we are, if we are hosting our file, where you are keeping your file okay so that is the one task of the server side okay, where you can keep your all of the files and from that file only you can fetch information either in a static way otherwise in the dynamic okay if you are fetching the information a static way that means only you are just accessing the file but whenever you are just fetching the information in the dynamic way maybe the chances are there based upon your file information again you are finding the information either from the database either from the database otherwise in the file otherwise the any part of the again the server side uh, uh, server side operating system also might be the chances it depends so server side development is much more than the web hosting we can say in that way and it involves the use of the programming techni technology like a php asp.net uh, to create the scripts and dynamically generate the contents so whenever you are talking about the difference between the client side and the language so very simple way i can just say here whenever you want to generate the request means the any web application what is happening there are the two parts one is the client part another is the server parts so client what happened first of all he generated the request so that generating the request uh, with the help of html css and javascript any client side scripting language he will generate the request and he is sending that request to the server once the server will receive that request once the server will receive that request, then again based upon that request, he is sending, he is generating the response and that response again he is sending back to the server, uh, back to the client and client is again uh, based upon there again the response uh, scripting one, that is again the client side scripting only, he can see the response. So, first of all where the client is generating the request so client is generate the request in the browser only so browser again it support for the client side scripting language either the javascript otherwise html otherwise css anything okay so with the help of that one generating the request and that request through the web server through the web server sending to the uh, sending to the server client so once the that request is coming to the client server side again the server side is scripting language like a php either by asp.net other by any other again the ruby and other again the scripting language in server side they will generate the response and that response again back to the again the going to the you the help of the web server to the where client and client again he can see that response in the web browser so that is again the uh, one of the very simple concept of the client and the server one more things whenever you are talking about the server side what resource the server side scripting can do can manage so whenever the any input is coming to the server any input is coming to the server so that input again with the help of the server side scripting language either the php javascript otherwise anything okay they can they can find the information from the database so that is again the database is the one of the resource and the under the server another is again might be any file might be any email and maybe it is possible some any kind of the other software also okay and then again the any web services sop otherwise some other web services also it is possible so all of these resources information anyone is for information based upon the client request based upon the permitted uh, request by the client okay everybody they cannot access anything so that client is already permitted or not they have authenticated or not that information that information only that resources again be the server scripting language they are providing to the client right 
so server side scripting resources we can say database web services files email and any other software see uh, if you are talking about the technology for the server side technology a lot of the technologies are there so some technology they have advantage some technology disadvantage was there so we'll see again the at least few so first thing is called again the asp that is called the active server page so active server page like a php and asp code so asp code usually using the bsp uh, bbsk programming language can be embedded with the html so active server page here php asp code that we can add along with the html also but asp programming code is interpreted at the runtime and due to this only it can be slow compared to the any other technology okay for asp asp you can interpret it at the that programming whatever the csp again you can add along with the html embedded with the html but whenever we uh, programming is interpreted at the runtime only due to this only it is the slow compared to the another technology asp one now another thing is the asp.net asp.net is a part of the microsoft only .NET framework and can use any .NET programming language other than the c sharp other by ASP.NET, but C sharp other by C has is the most again the popular one for the Microsoft.NET framework. And ASP.NET used as the generally for the object oriented approach. And it also a special markup called web server control that encapsulate common web functionality such as the database drive and list, prompt validations, user registration wizards, and other things. Here again, what is happening in the ASP.NET? We have so many controls, and that controls only you can call. So behind of that controls all of the HTML code, designing codes, otherwise uh, along with the CSS, everything they will generate. Okay, so in that way, it is easy for the developer to use these applications, right? And here again, uh, whenever you are compiling that file, that will convert it to the MSIL form, MSIL format only. That is called the, uh, just like a, you can say the binary code only, okay? But only one uh, disadvantage for the ASP.NET, this is very limited to the Windows Server only. If you are running, if you are writing the ASP.NET program, so this is, uh, means if you are using in the Windows Server, it is very helpful. Any other one, again, the little bit more complicated. That is, the, again, the one of the disadvantage for the ASP.NET. Another thing is again the JSP that is called the Java server pages. So JSP generally that is the Java programming language only like ASP.NET but it use an explicit object oriented approach and it is used in the large enterprises web system and integrated into the J2E environment also and JSP use the Java runtime engine JRE and it also uses a GIT compiler. Java just in time compiler for fast again the running purpose and it is a cross platform any platform you can use and while the JSP usage in the web as a whole is a small it is a but the, if you are talking about the market share in the internet environment so it is the as well as very large and the busy sites also okay and one more the very recent uh, very popular again the server environment that is called the node.js so this is like a java scripts on the server side you can say this is the one kind of the java scripts on the server side till now you know all the java script we can use in the client side but generally the person can say java script we can use in the server side also so in that one not js again framework is very very popular one and the complete concept is again like a java scripts almost and unlike the other, I mean the other development technology, Node.js is also the own web server software and you can no need to use the Apache and IES other. They have again the one kind of the framework only we can say. So with the help of that framework only we can use the Node.js. But this is again the very popular one. Same thing, one more thing is that the Perl. So this is again uh, Perl programming was the Sometime before it was a very popular server side web development and this language, uh, this scripting language is the more powerful to manipulate the text otherwise any kind of the graph also if you want then with the help of the Perl we can do. I can say again the very simple example for you, uh, I think you heard about the NS2. 
tools that was the network tools that is a very popular one ns2 and the by ns3 you can generate the graph you can generate the first of all nam window so there again the lot of the tr file that is called the trace root file and with the help of that trace root file if you want to generate the graph then pearl programming is again the one of the very popular again the scripting language to managing all of these things okay so like that one again it is again but uh, now sometime before it was a very popular but still it is again the use for the communication between application and the web server softwares next one is again the php but php is again the dynamically typed language and that can be directly within the html you can use you can embed again inside the html even inside the php also html html inside the php both way we can do and it now supports most common object oriented features classes inheritance all of this thing is the supported here and uh, if php pages are compiled into the intermediate representation that is called the opcodes PHP page we can compile into the intermediate representation that is called the op codes and that are analogs to the Java bytecode or the .NET framework MSI. And PHP stood for the personal home page, but generally we can say the preprocessor hypertext markup language is the full form again. Next thing is the Python. So object oriented programming language has a many use including being used to create web applications and other things. So but with the help of the Python if you want to develop the application then we have to use the some framework that is called the design go and paramic. So these are the framework uh, is very popular to create the web development using the Python's. Next one is the Ruby on Rails. This is again the web development framework and that use the Ruby programming language like ASP.NET and the JSP, Ruby on the rail is the, again the common software development approach and in particular MB, MB, MBS, uh, micro, um, MBC design pattern it support uh, and it integrates features such as the templates, engines the, when they have a certain templates and with the help of that templates and then again here again the Ruby on rails we have a one more concept the instance again. So in this way we can do, you have a one lab programs based upon the Ruby on Rails. When you are talking about the, again the popularity, otherwise usage of this, all of this again the technology. So in that one, uh, out of the 50 million sites, again they are on 47% they are using the PHP, around 27% they are using the ASP.NETs, then 24% others and in others again include uh, Ruby again also is there, some framework Node.js and all of this thing is there. Same things again they are campaigning based upon the 10,000 sites, still the 39% PHP and 38% ASP.NET and rest of the things are others. So in this way we can see the PHP is the more popular otherwise next is again the ASP.NET is in the market. So again. Uh, web server just whatever I discussed in the previous slides that is again the responsible to the communication between the client and the server so what are the responsibility what are the function for the web server so first thing says again here based upon the protocol whenever you are accessing any web page so you have to use either HTTP otherwise HTTPS so without this one you cannot open any page Okay, one is the secure, another is again they are telling non secure, that's why the S is not there. And one more thing is again here HTTP port number also you can keep in your mind that is the AT, other and HTTPS that port number is 443. So, any web page, this either HTTP, otherwise HTTPS, one of, out of these two, one protocol is there. So, that is again the one kind of the creating the connections for your page. So handling the any HTTP connections, how many HTTP connections you can handle, that is the responsibility of the web server again. And you can keep one point in your mind, sometime you can open some websites, it is not opening. That means number of the connections, your request is the, again the beyond of their again the limitations. Okay. Take example for the IRCTC websites, that is the one of the very busy websites in the India. So there again during the Tatkal booking, approximately around the 50,000 hits they are getting per second. Okay. So in that case, you can see still the so many person not able to log in, not getting the page response. So that are again the beyond the, there again the limitation. Same things you can call, talk about the any college websites, otherwise any other websites, they are using the normal again the server. 
okay they are hosting in the very normal server so there again the maximum they can manage around the 100 150 only to this, uh, at the same time got it so in that case the handling the http connection is again the one of the very important factor and that factor is again the managed by the web server next thing regarding the again the just now i told uh, uh, server side they have again the static and the dynamic resources they have a different type of the resources so any again the request coming from the client so responding to that request either for the static other by dynamic resources that is the part of the responsibility of the web server only. same way some resources is uh, authenticated we have to give that resources to the authenticated person you have a permit or not permit you are authorized or not authorized such kind of the, again the managing the permission and accessing for certain resource that is the responsibility of the web server only same way uh, you can pass the message in the encrypted format and the compressing the data also required sometime if the data size is the big again so in that way encryption and the compressing the data both is again the managed by the web server and one more things you can manage the multiple domains and the urls also with the help of the web server means again if you want to redirect from the one page to the another page at the same time so that also we can do with the help of the web server only and managing the database connections so you are storing the information in the table other by database so that connections again you can manage with the web server next thing is again managing the cookies and a state so cookies is again a small piece of the information they always the operating system they will keep in your keep in your again the hard disk whenever you are opening the any website that is called the cookies and that cookies is helpful to finding the information in the next time we can say so that managing the cookies value again we they, uh, they can manage with the help of the web server best example you can see for the cookies again you are opening the i suppose that in your mobile other by laptop you don't have a net connection but still you can open the google home page so that is that information is coming with the due to the cookies only and uploading and the managing the file is again the very very important things that also we can do with the help of the Coming to the again the stack here, there are the three stacks are very popular. One is called the lamp, then WAMP, and then that another is called the map. Lamp, WAMP, and map. Lamp indicates for the Linux environment, W indicate, WAMP indicate for the Windows environment, and map again the Mac operating system only. So lamp again another AMP is the common. So A for the Apache, Apache is again the web server okay and m for the mysql database and p for the php so these four three things is coming in the any platform it is coming in the linux platform that is called the linux lamp if it is working in the windows platform that is called WAMP. and if it is working in the mac then we can say the map only okay so apache and the linux what is happening here again uh, linux again we, after the installation of the this package actually in the ubuntu we have to install this package otherwise fedora the now that package is coming along with the almost almost all of the flavor of the fedora so after the enabling that one we have to start the services and that services we have to manage through the httpd that is called httpd so that configuration file only you can manage and there again that is managing the again the regarding the apache same way php.ini one file is that that will manage again the all of the php information and then htt access htt ht access star.htaccess once you are opening that file they will manage again the both so this is like this again again linux environment you have ht access they will manage again the web server in the php httpd configuration we can manage the all of the apache configuration and php.ini you can manage again the lin uh, php information so one thing is again very very important everybody is thinking what is the apache so apache is just like a daemon server only and this is uh, like a runs in the, your background and uh, they will um, uh, waiting for the particular event whenever it will activate so when a request arrives apache use their module to determine how to respond to that request and that mo module is again the written in the c programming language again to handling the all of the request so sometime we can say this is called again the handlers handling the 
all of the request again so here incoming request and the response returned is again the first of all coming to the in incoming request and then again they have a different different parts to match modules again so one more things you can keep again apache runs in the two possible modules one is called the multi processes and another is called the multi threads they have a two possible modes mode one is the multi process another is called the multi threads so default installation of the apache runs using the multi process mode only one more thing is very very important that is called the php internals php they have a three modules one is called the php core next one is called the extension layer and third one is called the jet engines so php core that define the all of the main feature of the php like a php environment essential function variable handling array string class math and any other core feature that was the part of the php core next thing is called the extension layer so extension layer it defines for the interacting with the service outside of the php so here we can talk about the mysql library ftp sop and the web services xml processing among others so sop web services whenever you are using the finally this one a payment gateway integration that time you should know again the sop and the web services without that one we cannot integrate the Mm, payment gateway in php that is very very important same way again the xml processing is also the one of the important one next one is called the jet engine this module handle the reading of the requested of the php file if you want to read the any php file if you want to compile anything with the help of the php that time the jet engine is very very important here again the one more thing is called again the called c u r l functions okay that all i will discuss in the later again whenever you are talking about how to install this one to uh, one more thing is there for the like a wamp again for that is for the windows application only jamp that is the wamp only that is the part of the wamp only but that is called the jamp so jamp and the wamp jamp again like a turbo c again we can find the installation package otherwise you can keep that folder in the particular size only and here again keeping the file under the st docs jamp and next one is called the wamp also wamp also from the wamp server.com you can download and then again you can do the all of the installation next next only that will done and mac installation package is called map and both installation package configure the apache php and the mysql not both i can say the three only jamp or wamp jamp is another software wamp is another software but both are working in the windows and another is called the map so mac for the mac mac operating system only to jamp and the wamp and the map all three they support for the mysql apache and so this is the window for control panel of the jamp once you can install the jamp then we'll get this one only you can see here apache and the mysql cross is there so once you can start the service then the color will be changed here got it this is the window for the jamp again different way that i will show you and once the server is running then we have to write in the browser local host then we'll get a this page same thing in the linux lamp again suppose that you are if you are starting the service how to start the service uh, 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 there again the http uh, that is called stpds https so once you are starting that service then we have to write the local host in the mozilla so once you can write the local host in the mozilla in the linux then we'll get again for the apache foundation home page and here again we'll get see the jump you see we're writing the local host otherwise you can write 127.0.0.1 then we'll get a jump windows page same way for the wamp again after the installation and starting the service we'll get a wamp home page got it so this is the one way you can test your uh, web server is running or not and for keeping the all of the php file either in the linux linux we have to keep the file inside the bad ww html folder only that is the root folder to keep the all of the web server file you cannot keep the file anywhere okay we have to keep the file in that particular folder only same way in the jamp again we have to keep the file inside the st docs ht docs here c colon they mention after the installation maybe the jam folder is available in your c drive but like a turbo c suppose that we have a one folder so that you can copy anywhere but we have to keep the file always inside the ht docs folder only okay and wem server again we have to keep that depends after the installation of the three on higher version we get a folder name wem 64 otherwise 32 depends upon your the operating system only 
in the root directory okay so there again you have a one more folder www and in that folder you can create the folder and in that folder you can keep but keep always the location for the vamp again uh, vamp 64 otherwise vamp vamp is coming for the lower version or below of the 3 and the higher version 3 and higher version it is coming for uh, vamp 64 and there again the www folder and in that folder we can keep the folder and you can put the file so i think at least you got the some idea regarding the server side developments so next video again i'll discuss them again next part of next part so thanks for your presence